What's going on today, today guys? Yeah. We're out here on the 31 Contender. It's a beautiful day out here in Lighthouse Point. We're gonna be doing some mutton fishing today. There's a crazy mutton spawn happening here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, it's like nothing ever heard of. A lot of my buddies have never heard of like the, a bite like this in their life. So it's actually pretty amazing what's going on. You guys will see what's happening. We're gonna get out there, we're gonna anchor up, and there's gonna be a lot of boats out there trying to catch mutton snapper. So hopefully all goes well and we get tight. It's almost like a freaking pier out there, to be honest. There's so many people. Everybody's yelling, screaming. This is gonna be a good day. We're gonna see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is why they call it the mutton spawn. We're in an undisclosed location, but there are boats everywhere. Just sitting out here on this one spot. It's a grouper, yeah. You have them? Yep. Or a giant mud. This thing is huge. Okay, Holy shit. Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. We just caught an easily over 10 pound mutton here. Nice thick fish. <laughs> circle hook on him right in the corner. Look at this. Right out. Must have circle in line. And all we're doing right now is I have about, say, 80 feet, 50 pound fluoro. You can use mono too. This is all I had fluoro. And then I have a 12 ounce sinker on here pyramid style and then I'm doing a free sliding swivel on the line so I've got my braid from my reel straight to my swivel and then I have about 80 feet of 50 pound fluoro to a circle hook and this is a nice first fish of the day we caught a bunch of yellow tail up in this live well here if you want to check it out tail and this nice mutton so yeah Look at that. Stay tuned because we're gonna get another here. This is what I'm using. Just uh, half a goggle. I cut a little angle in it. Take the circle hook, just put it through the bottom jaw, out through the top. And then now I got my 80 feet of line, 50 pound leader. Just chuck it out there. We've got a little bit of current that just picked up from this morning, which is really good for fishing. Kind of just let it out, make sure it doesn't get tangled up. You got your 12 ounce sinker. Toss it right off the side. All right, now give it a couple cranks. And wait for that rod to bend over. We're in about 93, to feet, 93 feet of water right now. Just caught this nice mutton. We were out here Two days ago, caught seven muttons in a black. And then yesterday, there was another couple muttons caught. So they're out here. Well, now it's just looking like a waiting game here. We have a four rod spread out and the current just died again. So just gotta wait, see what happens. We got a gog head out on one rod. No, Elon, do you have a gog head out? We all got gog head outs right now. You got a gog head too? A full gog. Full gog. You're going for the Mondo. What do you think about this, Jessica? Awesome. I didn't catch the mutton snapper, but I got to hold it. Hopefully I'll get to catch one, right? You got the next one. I got the next one. Yeah, the current just died, guys, so we'll see what happens, but this is what we're using for bait. Elon brought these baits to us. A whole bonita, a bunch of goggle eye. Goggle eyes are like a mutton's favorite bait, almost. Fresh gogs are like the best bait you can use. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens here in a minute. Hopefully we get another bite. This guy just pulled up. 
big old drift boat out of Fort Lauderdale just pulled up to the spot. So you know they're biting here. Oh, is that guy tight? Tennis are small. This is like pier fishing, but on a boat. It's crazy. Doubled up, guys. Doubled up here. Elon's got a nice one. I think Hudson's is a little nicer. Grab the leader. Give me the rod. Give me the rod. <laughs> Boy, we had a little tangle here, guys. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go on the inside. Is it all? Is it? You have it over there? Yeah. I think it's my fish. I don't know. Maybe that's. Dude, Elon. I think I got a bigger one. There's another one on this line, dumbass. Yeah. Oh my god, this thing's fighting. Yeah. This thing's fighting, bro. There it is, James! Shut up! He's huge! <laughs> look at him, look at him! We had a little fucking problem there. It's too far. Oh, told you, he was fighting hard. Yeah, it's a nice button. There it is! Oh shit, shark! Oh no, shit. Wait, what is that? Oh, no. Big mutton, you see? Like... Big mutton! Big pinky! Flip him, flip him. Uh, yeah! Oh my god, I'm tight back here! All right, come on, find the main line right here. Yep. Now, so here's the back of it, right? Oh, he caught me in a rock. <laughs> I lost him. Oh, no, Elon, that's some of my line. Hold on. Nice fish, Elon. Okay. What do you think about that fight, Hudson? It's hard, man. I fought, three, I fought three fish at once. So, guys, what happened was Elon hooked the fish over here. And Hudson hooked his fish over here, swam under the boat, tangled with his line over there, and they ended up reeling up two fish at once. That's it. Here's your bait. You take your hook through the bottom, out the top. There's a little soft spot in the top. Oh, yeah! Yeah, guys! Here, here, here. Pull him in! God damn, bro! Yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> That's how you do it, Elon! Thank God, bro. Just go taking photos the whole time. Thank you, brother. Good stuff, man. That's how do you feel mammoth. about that? What do you have I to say? I feel absolutely massive mutton grouper, mutton Look snapper. Me, <laughs> we just got. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that was crazy, guys. He was all wrapped up around this anchor line. Cause he needs to learn how to fight a fish better. What the fuck? The I'm anchor kidding. line's in my way. <laughs> but look at this thing, guys. Straight beauty. Good work, Elon. Thanks, man. Don't leave me hanging, bro. All right, guys. This is pretty freaking nuts. I got my rod out right here, right? There is a scuba diver right there, swimming full force towards the back of the boat right now. And we're in 89 feet of water. And there's his boat all the way over there. There's another diver over there. This guy is right here, literally. Imagine I hooked a mutton and he shot it with a spear gun. Uh, there's a, no, no, not like, there's a full, like, got a bunch of yellowtail, solid mutton right there. I'm gonna put them all on ice in a second. That guy's sick. Imagine this guy is crazy. Elon's on, Elon's on. <laughs> I thought it was your rod. <laughs> Beautiful mutton. Beautiful, Beautiful mutton, Elon. Wow. I don't think oh, that's going to make the mark. Look at the guy, his bubble was just came up. Oh my god, he's going under our bow. Oh my god. This is crazy. Out of my whole life, I have never seen that. This guy's literally diving right. Is there anchor line? Fish whistle worm. Swam right underneath their boat. Just pulling him out. Now that I think about it, it might have been good to bleed him in the live well. That's over. There it is, boys. There's not enough ice to dump it all. I think.
off, clean it off a little bit first before we play it. These things have a really big rib cage, so I kind of try to feel behind its shoulder and behind its head. Get a good feeling where that meat is, the bones are. These things have really thick scales, guys. backbone all the way down to its tail. Just like this. Just like that. You feel its backbone. This fish has been sitting in an ice brine all day, so it's very cold. And it's the best when you flay a fish after it's been sitting in ice. I usually let my fish sit in ice for a day and then flay them the next day. But this really helps making sure your fish are really cold because when you're flaying a soft fish that's warm, flimsy, it's not, it's not easy to work with. You want to flay them when they're Nice and cold. This meat is absolutely delicious. Amazing meat coming off this fish. And this is why they call it the mutton spawn, guys. If you look in here, look at all of those eggs. It's all row. It's a very controversial subject, but see all of this? This is all mutton row. All that. Look at that. These are all eggs. It tastes very good. There's not any regulations. I wish that they would close the season during the spawn, but it is what it is. Gotta get out there. Nice clean fillet. That rib cage is really thick. It's actually a little bit of a bloody fish, but cut that off. Put that guy to the side. Now we're gonna skin it. Go in on the skin like this. Work it a little bit and then grab the skin with your hand. Put the knife in and then move that skin and let your knife do the work. Move that skin side to side. Look at that. Beautiful skin. to do is cut the little bit of belly liner out, a little bit of bones, I want to eat that, and then cut this rib cage out, a little bit of some ribs in here, just like that, right there, there, got fresh black grouper, a little in 
Check that out. Use a little milk to thin it out. We're making grouper sandwiches. All right, guys, check this out. This is like a little tip that I've learned a long time ago. If you're gonna bread your fish, you don't need to put it in a bowl. Pour your, your stuff you're breading it with into a Ziploc bag. All right, I'm not making that much, so I don't need to have that much in here. Usually, usually you wanna pour more than less in the bag, so that way it all coats the fish. Mix it all up. You take it out, put it right in that bag. Give it a little, little dip. It says no fish from the fish market. I'll tell you that much. Check this out, guys. Nice Miller Lite, fresh lemon, warm grouper fried. Gonna sprinkle this lime right on top. It smells so good. Absolutely amazing. Sandwiches, avocado, ready to get put on. We're gonna give you a taste test here in a second. What an awesome day. What an awesome day of fishing. This fish is gonna feed a lot of people. There's more people that haven't been on film, so they're gonna eat it. Everyone's gonna enjoy it. The grouper is about to go down the hatch. First, we're gonna right, try- wait, wait. Guys, first of all, Colin does not like grouper Hate at grouper. all. He does Slimy. not like it, all right? This is so, a fresh catch. Trail first, motion. we're gonna taste it. Free right. test, free, free taste. test. Right. And next, with the tartare sauce. Are you sweating? All right, let's see what happens. It's tartar. 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 Wait, wait, we need, him. We need him in the right mindset. What do you think? Swipe, wipe the sweat off his face. <laughs> wipe it all off. All right, he's good. It's not a child. I'm um, not, you know what I'd say? I would com compare this to one of the most amazing things I've ever tried. Let me now, let me try it with the tartare sauce. It's tartar. Tar it's tartar. Is it now? Read tartar. It's just <laughs> hey, what's, what's didn't going, keep a single one. On with the ice cream truck with all didn't keep kids? a single one. Uh, that 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 is up to the U.S. judicial system, not me. All right. All right. Good luck. With so, that. I don't like grouper, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna be honest, oh. but I don't like it. No tartar tartar sauce. No tartar sauce. No tartar sauce. Really good. Is it tartar? That was a deep or bite. Tartar. Oh, that was a big bite. No, actually, that is not bad. Really not, bad? not bad. Not bad. Not bad. No, no, I, not I, like not, I don't like grouper, so I'm not gonna say it's good. It's not bad. Tartar sauce. What do you think? Dry, flaky, Yo, and cheap sauce. What's, what's going on here? Crunchy, flavorful, and fresh. Yeah. I'm coming back for another try. So the 22 year old grouper. Give it an 8 out of 10. All right, All Colin's right. coming back in the video. I gotta try it again. Colin really liked it, apparently. I'm so, going for I'm going he for does, it. He does not like groupers. No so sauce, is... no sauce. Okay. So good, make you want to slap someone. That was good. That was good. All right, Hudson, give it a go. I'm gonna try again after him. Do you know why they always say Nice piece. Look at that grouper. Looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. Nice and soft. Let's look at that again. But can you smell it? Mm. it smells good. Nice and hot. Good choice. Seasoning, a little fucking uh, salt and pep. Fresh off Can't the fryer. Wrong. Fresh off the fryer. Give her a taste. What do you think? If Megan doesn't like it, I don't like it. You're sneaking pieces over here? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Pretty good. A little, a little shartar. Tastes like hot. What do you better, rate it? It's better naked. What do you rate it? You don't like the tartar sauce. I rate it 9 out of 10. 9, 9 out, out of 10, 10 man. Mm -hmm. Seth? You need help with that? That was actually really good. I really do not like grouper. Just have it. No, oh, no, you're having it with tartar? Alright. It won't go a little lower on it. It's very good. What do you think? On a rating? Why? I think it's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? I'm putting it on a sandwich. It, so this is this piece for the sandwich. Oh, look at that presentation. 
Yeah, guys, check that out. Grouper a la tarte. I got coleslaw, potato salad. I got mac salad on the plate already. But I really want to try a piece raw. So let me. Look at this, guys. Look how good that fish is. I know we had we caught mud snapper, but the day before I ended up catching a black grouper. So I want to eat the freshest, uh, the first fish I caught. So. I'm having the black grouper today. I'm gonna have the mud snapper tomorrow night. None of it's going to waste, by the way. The whole thing? Whole thing. Let's go. Yo, James, where is that smoked tuna? That is phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie. That fish is so good, man. Is it bombacious? Is it's that fish flaky. Bombacious? It's just everything you ever want in a fish. And it tastes so fresh. There's no fishy flavor. A little bit. I smelled it. No fishy smell. It's just so delicious. And we caught it two days ago. I caught this fish two days ago, and it is delicious. Um, we kept it on ice for two days. I ended up pulling it out of the ice, flaying it, and we cooked it the next day. And this is delicious. Absolutely try it, try it in the in the Whenever I catch fish, and I have nothing going on the next day. If I have a busy day the next day, I'll flay it right after I catch it. But if I have nothing going on with fish, or the next day, I'll end up keeping the fish in ice for a full day, let the meat relax, and then I'll flay it the day after because I think it tastes much better that way. But this tastes really, really good. Giant load. Let's see what's up. All right, I hope I don't get sick of Tara. Mm. Mm. It looks like Tiki Bob enjoyed it. Mm. Oh my god. Zero fish taste. The most <laughs> amazing fish. Zero fish taste. It's was that, incredible. Was that bombastical? I worry about grouper only because if you eat it and it's shallow and it's big, you could get cigatero. Outside of that, that was probably the best group I ever had in my life. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching the video. We're finishing up fishing right now. We're gonna fish for probably a couple more minutes. We caught a bunch of nice mutton snapper. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna be flaying them up at the house. Um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna be going to Louisiana next week, so that should be freaking awesome. We're gonna be catching red snapper and yellowfin tuna, so that should be an epic trip. Um, and that'll be posted right when I get back. So thank you guys for watching so much. Have a great day.